So yeah, as we've hit over 1500 KC now, we're probably in a pretty good spot to maybe get the Vestige soon. So today, we'll be doing a lot of Vardorvis. Yeah, best in slot strength ring, and I do want to get this before Wild Guthic sleeps, because I really want to use this ring plus the new Firelight on Duke. That'd be so nice to farm him with it. There's a little Awakener's Orb on the floor for us, yoink. That's number 25 in 1500 KC, which is honestly a very, very good job rate for us right now. Okay, it's only a few kills later, but another orb, I guess. Okay, maybe it is a good day to do Vardorvis. Maybe it's a very good day indeed. Oh, no, no, no. No, how have I got four of them? No, 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 no. How do I get the rare stuff, but I can't get the more common... Do how have I got four pe That's so insane to get four of those. So yeah, we rolled the table, and we rolled the super giga rare thing instead of the the more common thing. Wow. How have I got four? They're like one in 1k each, by the way. How have I got four in 1500? That's crazy. And the worst part is they're essentially completely useless. They're not tradable by themselves. So I would have to get four pieces from all of the other bosses as well to make it usable. So that's... Oh, man, oh, man. What? Another orb? What? Okay, what is with the rare drops today? That is another orb. Only a couple of kills after that axe piece. Like, dude, my luck today is weird. And that is a very nice drop there. I've got to say 600 soul wounds. That is a perfect kill right there as well. Um, so yeah, wonderful drop. Always good to see soul wounds from Mr. Vard Orbit. No way! Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! We're done! We're done! It actually happened, dude. It really was a good day to do Vardorvis. Look at that! 1567, let's go! Hey, wow. Wow, 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 wow. First vestige, and uh, it's the best one. That is the best in slot strength thing when we go and make it. And we do have the ingots, so that is literally perfect. Actually, we're going to go for the back to back. Obviously, it can't be a uh, vestige back to back because that's impossible. But, you know, Vertus or something, an orb, it's possible. But, man, that feels so good to get done. Hey, but look at that, man. Oh, I'm so happy to finally have that done. So, yeah, I guess it's time to go and make it uh, into literally the best strength ring in the game. Oh, it's so good. Here we go, so yeah, Berserker Ring into a Berserker Icon. We then have the three ingots, two from Vard, one from Duke, the Vestige, and some Blood Runes in order to make it into the ring. Lovely! Good, 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 good. So, that is combined, so then I think we use that and that maybe. Yes, we'd like to make an Altar Icon for 500 Blood Runes and some other stuff. Kablam, and now it's Furnace time! Altar Ring, absolutely! Look at that! Altor Ring done. This is a best in slot strength ring by a long, 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 long way. That is, oh, it's so cool! And it looks nice as well, doesn't it? Like, the little, like, you know, silvery and red a bit on there. But yeah, like, this thing, this thing is so strong. And look at the price of 180 mil, it's crazy! 12! Plus 12 melee strength there, which is 50% um, better than the Berserk Rings plus 8 when it's imbued. So uh, yeah, this is at least an extra max hit, possibly two, depending on setup, I think. So yeah, here is the final Vardorvis log. Four axe heads, which is insane. Um, three versus legs, also insane. A vestige, awesome. And yeah, two ingots were from here as well, not three. Perfect. Oh wow, so we go to Duke. <laughs> First thing we get in like a couple of kills is an ice quartz. So uh, maybe the luck is still going after it. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. A little uh, R2 task done as well. Had 20 bears. And um, yeah, we just made what? 783k from all our little bears there. So that's quite nice. Oh, okay, Chris did it. Okay, I see you. I see you. Maybe it is time to get a, uh, a woolly weapon then. Yeah, 145 revs, that is very good.
Oh, you've got to be joking. No, man. No, no. Wait, it's dead. Wait. Did I die or not? Am I fine? I, I, wait, I got 34 k points. I think that counts. That counts as a kill without dying. Technically. So, hooray! <laughs> we got torstals and diamonds. I didn't have redemption on, did I? How did I? <laughs> At least it was first year. We'll just keep going. But how did I forget to turn on redemption? <laughs> Oh, it's dead. Lovely. There we go. That is... Oh, that's a lot of runes. Like that. 1,800 souls and 1,100 myth. That's a very good soul range job. I like that. Yeah, I'm also kind of shredding this hand, though. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Look at that. The 58s. Oh, my God. The altering absolutely popped off on that thing. What the... Aha. Wonder... No way, <laughs> guys. It's another purple. But it's also our third pair of claws. What is my drop plug? What the? How, 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 how? Like, what is my drop rate at Chambers, man? What is my drop rate? Three claws? Like, nine prayers? What the? Like, I, I don't understand. I have this many drops. The spread, not so much. But like, the amount of purples we've seen in this case is just unheard of. It's crazy. So we're currently attempting a little bit of uh, speedy chambers with uh, the gang here, and uh, I think sub-1630 is the goal in trio, and it's looking like we might get it. And there we go, what is that? Yep, that is a Chambers of Dragon Master speed times, so that's a nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little plus five there. So that's pretty cool, yeah, 1539, not bad at all. So there we go, 1430 has unfortunately just passed, so the GM time is just out of reach this time, but uh, as long as they're kind of close, which is uh, quite exciting actually, I'm uh, pretty pleased with that. Alright, one more here, that should be it. Very nice. That is all, that's some good runes actually, Bloods and Souls, we'll absolutely take that. And a 1512 for the P-Bizzle there, 45 seconds from Grandmaster. It'd be gone. Lovely. That is another kill. Unfortunately, a white light for everyone. But, oh, dragon arrows. You don't see those very often, honestly. But uh, 111 of those, that is not actually that bad. Oh, there's a little drop at revs there. Ancient statue at 2 mil on that one. So let's grab that and honestly skedaddle straight away. Quite a good mini trip there on the orcs, actually. I've got five bracelets, four on that trip, in only 40 kills. That's like a thousand ever, I think, for uh, our future rev weapon, which hopefully we're going to get soon. Oh, what the? An ancient totem as well. So another one of those, but this time worth a mil. So we'll, uh, we'll grab that, and I guess we'll have to do a little bit of teleportation again. And hey, there we go. That is our rev task done. Honestly, loot, what, five, six, seven, seven point six seven. Mill, like, oh my god. Loot is crazy, but uh, yeah, no woody weapons this time. Some uh, speedies, they are a little bit best in slot. I'm a little bit dead, but <laughs> look at the kill time. It is 1340, so I think even with a bit of dying, we might be alright. The Grandmaster speedrun time, despite a few deaths, they sacrificed me on tightrope and stuff, but that is a, uh, that's a plus six right there for a sub 14. Did a little cheeky challenge mode with my friends as well. Had a slight accident partway through, but hey, 126 arrows, not bad, not bad. Ooh, scary kill right there, very scary, but it's another kill and another white light for us this time. It's a new day for me, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll try and get 200 kill count of chambers today. We'll have to, uh, I'll have to see. Oh, nice. That was a really good ulm, honestly. Very good ulm there. So uh, happy with that. We've got some adamant. Adamant Ore and some Rune Arrows, yoink! And we go again, 194kc. Kablam! That's another one down as well. Again, 4% loot chance, the Ice Demon farming is quite good. I uh, got some Dynamite and some Awesome Ore. Lovely. Ah, it dies. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately I kind of died to Vespula in this run, but still some decent points. 3.5% lead chance for some Torstals and some Rubies.
Oh, that there should be. There we go. It's about a seven second PB. Yeah, look at that. Sub 1830 for the first time ever. That's pretty nifty. And uh, some arrows and some salt peters. Not the best drop, but it is what it is. Wow, how's that for some sh movement with those crabs? That was really nice. Like, literally took perfect there. Haha, -ha, lovely jubbly. Oh, some dragon arrows. I didn't see those too often. But yeah, 161 arrows and a bit of toad flax as well. Not too bad. Two more KC to go until the big 200. Okay. It's dead, nice. <gasps> no way! No way, no, no, no way! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am in shock. What? <laughs> what? Bro, I... What? I, um, uh, what, 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 I, 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 I have no words, I have no words, I, What is my drop log? Like, what is my drop log? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is this? I... I have lost the words. I genuinely... <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot believe that. I absolutely cannot believe that. That is unbelievable. Like... Um... <laughs> I, I'm just... I, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. That is insane. I, this is just, this is unreal, this is actually unreal, and it's technically we're next ready now as well, bro, I, what, 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 this many drops, and the first mega rare that we roll is the best one, is, I, I, I cannot believe that, I cannot believe that, so that's amazing. All right, Tivo, go 65. I've never seen a hit like that with range. Okay, cool. So we've got our new best hit already. I like it. I like it. Okay. 72, go 72. I hit a 72. Oh my god. That's huge. That's such a... Oh my god, I can hit 70s now. 72. Oh, 74, there we go. That's when you max hit. This is with Salvamot, though, of course. But 74 with that thing on the regular Mystics. Wow. Oh, 81. Guys, I hit an 81. Wow. So, yeah, Olm has a lot of uh, magic levels, and Tebow is more effective the higher the magic level. I hit an 81. Lucky. I was too busy with my 81. 78, guys, 78, look at that, look at that, 78, 71, straight after, oh my god, is this balance, I don't think so, that was huge, is this balance, I don't think so, that was huge, 83, guys, I hit an 83, I actually just hit an 83, I can barely believe it, and 74, oh my god, I love this thing, I love it already, this is beautiful, huzzah, and hey, it's a PB straight away, who would have uh, seen that coming? That's also 200 chambers in total as well. Nice little milestone there at the same time. OK, 
Okay, it's a nice little 35. There's a 50 already, so we're doing some uh, Zolra because I want to test out the bow, and so far it's performing pretty well, I've got to say. You're absolutely right, though. Absolutely right. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? It's like constant 50s here. What the? And another one. What the? What is happening? Oh, maybe? That might be it. That might be it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yay! There it is. Grandmaster Zora. Lovely. That was kind of close. 53. Is that the time? I think it's... Is it sub 54? Is it just 53? That might have been bang on. But that is a plus 6 straight away. Lovely. So 53. Oh, less than 54. So hey, we cleared it by a good margin. But yeah, that's uh, another green log boss done in terms of combat achievements. So uh, that's pretty cool. As the bar gets a little bit closer to Grandmaster now. Having a Tabo, and it's a success. <laughs> but it, well, first solo since having a bow, is a success. And uh, yeah, no drop that time, but 201 KC and a nice little ohm. Oh my god, I just hit an 80. What the? Wait, oh my god. That just shreds Big Mutter. What the? This room is pretty fun. Yep, 70 off the bat. Like, what the man? 70 into 69? Oh my god. It's just three shot. I just three shot that guy. It's very nice. That's another raid done. Like, the 116 head phase. That is by far my fastest ever, I think. Wow, it's so much faster. Oh, so Zabak, I'm seeing a 74 just after a 60 with the bow. Whoa! We are flying, guys. We're absolutely flying. Very good. <laughs> Dude, like, the boss is just melting. Like, I'm... Like, no BGSs. Like, this boss is disappearing under the bow and the dragon arrows. Like, my god. 78. And 56. And it's just gone. Like, it's just... I, I, this... Is this balanced, guys? Is it balanced? It's... 73 as the first Tebow shot on Wardens. Okay, buddy. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm oh. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was nearly terrible. Whoa. That was really bad. There we go. Clean last phase as well. And... Bro, I was 18 seconds slow. I shouldn't have skull skipped as much as I did. Oh no, because I had the wrong Invo on. I was meant to have 40 minutes, not 35. No! Evo, very cool. Some soul runes for the shadow that we didn't quite get this raid, but that's okay. But man, this thing is nuts. I swear, it's so cool. <clears throat> is there another hit here, probably? Yeah, dude, look at this damage. This is not okay. What the? Like, it's just falling over. Like, Zilly just... Yeah, apart from when it's on one HP, but still. Oh, okay. So we got a thing from Zara pretty quickly. Um, it's worth 8888, apparently. We've got a Saradomin's Light. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, we can now get a Staff of Light, I guess, if we want to. And I think we can also use this to make uh, the Zami Room light again. So, um, kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Whoops, that is 100 KC now at Zilly, and we're now officially a veteran. So good job us. That's a nice little uh, plus four right there. Ooh, that is a nice little Zilly chip. This this bow is pretty nice when it works, so you can get some really fast kills. Yeah, 29 KC on just a little uh, tiny trip. Honestly, pretty good. Plus the combat achievement, of course. Is goodbye, Mr. Olm. 109 head phase. Like, this bow is so freaking insane. I can't believe it. Like, it, it just shreds him completely. Man, oh man, oh man. Today, absolutely insane. Like, I, I am still in shock from the twisted bow. Like, I did not expect to get this anytime soon and like my drop log at chambers is absolutely out of this world and today it just got one massive step better uh we will st still be doing chambers after this i do want to get the ancestral um but this also means that uh toa is very much back on the menu now because uh, getting a shadow for challenge mode chambers would be really cool because i would quite like to get the uh, the dust
and also the uh, the ancestral kit, I guess. You can make your ancestor look a different color. But the dust makes your pet be able to morph into any one of the uh, the boss rooms, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, solo challenge mode, or even just challenge mode in general, is something I do want to do. So look forward to that in the future. But man, this Tebow opens up so much stuff. Like, it is crazy. Like, this is going to be massive, massive, massive on the grind to Grandmaster achievements. Um, because the uh, the Hydra speed time just became basically free. Uh, like it's got some uses at TOB, it's got massive uses at TOA, like half the bosses, like it's very good for as well. Like I am so excited to start doing uh, this, but like basically it, it, it's a new era. Like I'm excited for the new era and um, hopefully you guys are as well. Um, I do want to do some Zilliana at some point or again to try and get uh, armed with crossbow which will also be good for next. It's not 100% necessary, but it'll be good to get eventually for uh, maybe a Zarek crossbow one day as well. The nice upgrade there. Um, so that is super cool. And uh, yeah, we're in a fantastic spot. World Gothic Sleeps is coming out imminently. And uh, yeah, looking forward to farming some TDs, getting some of those upgrades as well, and then taking on Mr. Duke with the Firelight, which hopefully we'll get soon. And also uh, Leviathan as well for the uh, axe pieces in both. But man, what a day! What a day! And uh, now, place your bets, guys. Which mega rare are we going to end up with next? The Maul, the Kodai, the Scythe, or the Shadow? What could it be? I don't know. But uh, yeah, what a day, man. What a day!